Hi, hi friends. I hope you're all alright. I hope you have had a nice week and you're having a, a good weekend. Um, I've tried to pop on YouTube as much as possible so you can have your little daily dose of Marty um, doing the odd video here and there. But I, I feel like I've been a bit distant um, from YouTube, which, which is unlike me. Um, it. I won't lie, it's been really hard the last couple of weeks, um, and I apologise now if I get upset, um, it, it has been really, really hard, I've been really struggling, because as you guys know, I am mum's full-time carer, um, at the moment we're just getting the short-term versions of things, like, you know, the, the board across the bath, you know, so mum can sit on, we were told that um she'll be able to move around and you know so she doesn't have to lift her legs up but it's absolutely useless because she still has to lift her legs up but we're happy to just um i i just give her a, a wash and that you know and um um while she's sitting up and you know in a bowl you know um We've got uh, district nurses coming out now to uh, check and we've got the uh, support mattress for her bed um, and also a support cushion uh, for, for her to sit on. Um, the doctors have got back in touch. She's got tablets for uh, the reflux, um, you know, which is not too bad. She's... Um, it's just that she's, she's not really eaten for the last four days. She just, one minute she's fine and then next minute she just goes downhill. She's very tired and fatigued and um, just not with it. She's very, um, she's mumbling over her words. She's just not, she can't hear properly what we're saying. And, you know, um, just, yeah, really getting a lot confused in that. And uh, we called the paramedics out. Um, and they checked her over and, you know, they asked if she wanted to go to hospital. She said no because she was frightened because um, that you, you hear all these stories. You know, she said herself that you go in hospital and you don't come back out again. But she did request tonight to go into hospital. We phoned 111. Um, they were asking all these questions. Has she become violent? Is she, like, you know, is her breathing funny? Has she developed a cough? And all these, you know um the temperature and all that um but they're going to give give me a call in the next uh, 12 hours um yeah because i as you guys know i work at tesco so although i do three days a week it was just um i phoned on friday because because when mum does get very confused so i talk on her behalf over the phone um you know to doctors i'm doing all the calls the phone calls and i didn't get um much sleep the night before because obviously paramedics and worrying about mum you know and we are really really struggling with the stairs her legs give way um you know then it counts or you know and, and stuff like that kcc is like pulling teeth to try and get a, a stair lift put in but we're in talks with acorn uh, acorn acorn stair lifts um which will be fitted in in the next like um well, the guy's coming around on Tuesday to do measurements and then it'll be fitted in within the next five days. But we have to pay for it. And a lot of people are saying, you know, why should you have to pay for it? Because, you know, your mum's a pensioner. She's 80, 81 nearly, you know. Um, you know, but I know we, we shouldn't have to pay really. Um, but when we have to wait for it um for it to be free we're putting on a been put on a waiting list and orbit and that kind of thing you know is like you know yeah but i've got my assessment on the f uh, 1st of march so we'll see what that brings but i've just been oh just there have been times where i've i've come on here and recorded a video but i haven't put it up because I just, I literally can't talk because I'm crying so much. I've just been crying. I had a couple of breakdowns. Um, I feel like I'm getting on everyone's tits because I'm just bombarding them with messages. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? I don't know if I'm lifting her right. 
um i've got all these questions you know and like applying her cream and stuff on her sores and um people say you, you're doing a great job you're doing the right job you know you're doing it right you know you can't do any more but I, I do question it you know that i um if i am doing it right or not and uh um it it's hard seeing her deteriorate to do, I can't say that word properly, deteriorate, um, you know, just seeing her completely lifeless, I've got to chase the doctors up again, see if, um, oh yeah, she, yeah, she's on water tablets, steroids, uh, what else, um, cocodamol to take the, the pain relief, um, but also senna as well to, you know, because cocodamol can make you, um, constipated um but we just need some like because she is anemia she you know um just run some blood tests and see what the hell's going on why she's you know because she's gone from being so independent as you know because she was always out shopping three days a week to just sitting in the armchair like not being able to do anything you know um um but we'll we'll get there we will get there you know i just a couple of times i you know i'm i feel like a i don't know i'm fed up with being so positive all the time because and i know i have to be i have to be positive and strong and i i feel fed up with being positive all the time because you know i look forward to something and oh something good happens and then it's like taking one step forward two steps back you know just keep getting kicked in the teeth all the time by people you know then you know we just want help and uh as you guys know i work at tesco's and friday because the paramedics come out thursday night and friday I had I I had no sleep. I was like a zombie, and I was getting really overheated and sweating out, and I just I felt so ill. I thought I was going to throw up. I felt, and I was worried about mum, and I was on the phone from I was I was up at like seven o'clock. On the phone at eight o'clock, doing all these phone calls like to the council, KCC, and you know you name it, and like and to my works as well to Tesco's. Uh, the doctors you know and like I say I have to talk on mum's behalf you know because she's not properly with it bless her um <clears throat> so I phoned in work and I said look I really don't think I'm going to be able to come in today because as my mum's carer I said and I am willing to make the day up and come in on my day off um and my manager rung me back um because i spoke to another manager and he passed on the message and my my manager my lovely lovely manager said i'm not being funny but you know because your mum said that she didn't want to go to hospital she's not really ill she's not it's not life-threatening um she's not dying um and you know and basically you're on your last warning you're you know you're coming close to losing your job and i don't want you to lose your job um mum wanted me to stay at home with her um i had to stay in because um the district nurse was coming round we didn't know when what time she was coming round it could be any time luckily she came around when i was there and my shift was normally half three till ten and i said look i i really can't stay till ten i really can't because i've you know um and my manager was suggesting because i don't start till half three why don't you go out now why don't you do this why don't you do the shopping now why don't you do this why don't you do you know your stepdad's there but i had to stay in because of like these important calls you know 
and she just wasn't they weren't getting it you know and they're like yeah but your stepdad's there you know oh you know and, and that but it was like pulling teeth so in the end i ended up doing half three to eight o'clock quickly whizzed round and you know and uh you know because when i finish at 10 you know by the time you know and my mum goes to bed at 10 and she needs help up the stairs and you know um you know by the time i've unpacked all the shopping and you know and you know you know got yeah got a few things after work um that she may want and you know got undressed and yeah and unpack the shopping you know it's getting on for gone 11 o'clock you know by the time I've, I've by the time i've waited for the taxi yeah got home you know got a you know got already so i'm uh, sounds like i'm mumbling i'm getting all myself confused now um it's like um so when it comes to having something to eat i'm like last friday i ended up having my dinner at 12 o'clock midnight you know and then tonight i ended up um, not tonight sorry uh friday night i ended up having, having my dinner which was pizza and i ended up having it at 10 o'clock at night and half of it was burnt half of it weren't even cooked like i just yeah um but uh yeah so i'm kind of juggling work and um but I can't, it's hard to do the two because I've got to be like with my mum and I'm juggling work as well. Um, you know, even if I go out shopping before work and do everything, I'm doing all the jobs at home, doing everything, plus going out, you know, um, doing the shopping. And then by the time I come home, I'm like, I still got to do more jobs but it's like I've got to go to work and do an eight hour shift and I'm like I can't do it you know and I'm finishing at 10 o'clock and by the time I've come home you know and I'm still seeing to mum I've got you know and I'm ends up getting to bed about gone 12 o'clock getting on for one o'clock um it's just yeah um but yeah it's kind of taking its toll now but um <sighs> yeah, but um, we'll get there. Things can only get better, and um, and what doesn't kill what doesn't kill us makes us stronger, and it will be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, it's not the end. I have been doing a couple of videos. I've been meaning to like edit it all and put it all together and you know um and it's just me on pancake day and i've done some pancakes and then the day after i've done some more pancakes and uh, then i did a tesco's haul and then and then i did another tesco's haul as well so i've got to put all that together and upload it um so uh yeah so you'll see that but i just want to let you know um yeah what's going on um but i'm just i don't know i don't i don't want to feel like i'm i don't want to give up but i feel like doing it i do i feel like i'm just so tired of like these phone calls and it's like okay we'll take your details and get back to you you know and then it's just chasing it up and it's just oh you just get fed up with it mm. anyway Right, so other than that, I'm okay. I'm all right, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but I hope you've had a great week. Let me know um, in the comments below. D drop me a comment, um, a message um, down below. Um, now I've finished talking about myself and mum. Um, let me know in the, the comments below how your week's been and what you've been up to, if you've been up to anything. And because uh, I'd like to know, I'd like to know what you've, how your week's been, and you know, if you don't really want to go into much detail, it's fine. Um, just yeah, let me know what you've been up to and how you've been. Please let me know how you've been. I hope you've been okay, and I'll get back to you. You know, I'll always reply back to every single message that you leave, every single message. Um, 
sometimes it might be straight away but you know i will promise i'll reply back to every single message um so yeah go ahead and give me um a thumbs up i finally hit uh 230 subscribers and uh i looked and i was like oh my god yeah that was quick so that um that perked me up a bit that yeah i was really chuffed with that so thank you ever so much for subscribing you know who you are thank you and um uh yeah just thank you so so much you know um and i just want to thank all my friends out there who watch my videos and um just thank you for your love and support towards myself and mum as well um just um yeah stay stay safe continue to stay safe take care guys and i'll see you in the next video guys and just thanks for everything and don't forget to drop me a message below and i'll get back to you smash the like button and mwah, marty loves you and mum sends her love as well and take care guys and thank you for listening thank you so so much for listening you know um talking to you talking to all of you um and just having you there and being and having youtube has been a massive massive help it really has so i love you all see you again in the next video bye guys bye